Cause let me tell y'all how Atlanta lame is fuck. <laughs> y'all remember when I was a kid, I used to want to move home. So everybody was like, we, what's your dream city? We're going to move to Atlanta. Bitch, this shit lame, baby. Now I see why people come to Houston all the goddamn you. time. Because, and then, then, really, you hoes in there. Y'all scared, baby. Y'all really is. Don't play with me for real. Cause I'm not scared. No, no, Atlanta, none of that, baby. Cause you, you mad cause I'm, I'm making the city type. Please don't play with me. Then, then, at least in, in Houston, the niggas spend money. Y'all don't spend no money out here. Y'all are cheap and y'all broke. What's going on? How am I spending my money out here than y'all? But y'all be flexing. See, ever since my homeboy sent me to that discount store, I know that y'all design to be fake because I know it look real, real, real. I done been there. I done been there. Like, I used to have so many high expectations for Atlanta, but now I hate it. Like, Atlanta is just not it. Like, now I see why everybody... Girl, let's go see this. What's going on? Now I understand why everybody moved to Houston because this is not it. Like, and then y'all don't have no good, y'all don't have no after hours. If that no good after hours, like, baby, I need to after all my ass back to Houston because y'all is lame, okay? Ha ha, feel. Hello, give me some light. Let me let the window down. Why is on child out? How I feel more like I'm on a vacation when I'm at home in Houston than when I'm in Atlanta. Oh. Who this for? This, this, this vacation ain't for me. Hell nah, it ain't. Because who this for? I'm still tripping on a 50 50 dollar minimum. First of all, bitch, I bought shots for me, which is forty five dollars. Bitch, you you telling me five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Then go say I said was my total fifty seven. But when I got my shit back, you 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 wrong girl sixty two. Okay. Can't count. Hope. Okay. You know what? Can't count asshole. Atlanta. I, I'm disappointed. I had I used to have super high expectations for y'all, but I wish somebody would say Atlanta better than Houston ever again because I'm telling you, it ain't, baby. Like, ugh, I'm disgusted. Y'all, that's what I was talking about. They gonna, have, they gonna tell me, how the nerve to tell me if I use my debit card or my credit card, oh, I gotta spend a minimum, a minimum of $50. Why? Money is money. Money on is money on, huh? Like, what are you saying? Like, why do I have to spend a minimum? And then 45, I, I spent 45. You was gonna round it up anyway. So if you, if you was gonna round it up, bitch, that's $50. <laughs> like, you be off in buy a bottle top on shot club at the why is the strip club closing at three o'clock, bro? Why is the strip club closing at three o'clock? Baby, it's still two o'clock in Houston. We leaving a regular club right now on the way to the strip. I'm stressed. Our women are absolutely done. Real talk. Like it's it's over. It's over in every way. Um gosh. There's so much wrong with this video. Let's start here. Can we please throw uh, Houston and Atlanta in the trash? The first time that I ever visited Houston, I think I stopped through there through a meetup or whatever. And so the meetup was cool or whatever like that. But I was, you know, milling around the city and I realized that Houston is really not like Texas. Like Houston is not like how the majority of Texas is. Houston is nothing like Dallas. Dallas is a lot, a lot more awesome than Houston. I actually really, really like Dallas. Austin, uh, Austin. It's different, San Antonio, obviously, and obviously Texas is like its own country, but God, unreal. And when I first started hearing about everybody moving to Houston, all of the people that was in Atlanta is moving to Houston and everybody that was in Atlanta was actually transplants and they wasn't originally from there. And, you know, I heard people saying that Atlanta was like Wakanda for black people. And now people is going over to Houston and ruining it. And then the caveat, the, the cherry on top for me was when uh, what was my man's name from the Migos? You know, when he had, when that had happened to him or whatever like that, I said, man, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. But more importantly, if these are the women that men now have to subject themselves to, she spitting, she cussing, she wild, she got them crazy eyelashes on. Um, obviously, she spent some money on herself. I don't know if her chain is real, but her teeth look like she got them done. So um, I don't know who this woman is. I really don't. But this is a reflection of the thing that men now have to subject themselves to. And instead of us saying that, yo, we need to make some adjustments because the women that's out here is absolutely trash, we don't. We then say, well, you know, women, it's the men's fault for these women existing in the first place, but they have the freedom to be able to do and operate how they want to. She talking about the strip club, close at three and then going over to the after hours and then she got her homegirl in the background and then she talking about spending money when she not even willing to spend fifty dollars 
she only willing to spend forty five dollars. And so, you know, you talking about some some broke chicks that's running around, and I'm sure that she's some type of rapper or singer or something like that. Or actually, probably both. We all know that that exists now. And you know, it's some dudes that find her, you know, worthy of rocking with and having extended conversations with. And so I know that y'all checking for these chicks. I know that all she probably got to do is show a body pic. She probably is a rapper slash Instagram model and y'all see value in her. And so as a result, you continue to have conversations with her. And I'm sure that it's other women in the chat. Uh, I did thumb through a few of the comments and, you know, as usual, people like, oh, I'm moving to Houston ASAP then. Why would you move to Houston if this is the representation of it? Why would you run into a place where these type of women exist? I'm just curious because then we're going to start having another conversation about how many kids she got or, you know, how women ain't no good and all of this other or the, or the type of women that you deal with, how they plan you and stuff like that. And then we're going to have to bring you to the front of the congregation for even choosing wrong. But it's crazy, super masculine, earring in her lips and nose. I'm not really sure. Let me rewind a little bit. Earring in her lips and, and definitely in her lips. Can't tell if it's in her nose, but ear earrings in the top of her lip and the bottom of her lip. Spitting. Got the baby hairs in there. Tattoos all over her body. Body out. Masculine as fuck. Makeup all everywhere. Butterfly eyelashes. Everything is just fucked up. Everything is fucked up. Everything that you can possibly think of. And this is going to, at some point, be somebody's mentor, somebody's mother. She might even blow up when it comes to whatever it is that she's selling. I'm sure that she got the bundles on deck, got the got the hood rat starter kit with the, the chain and all of this other type of stuff. And this is the stuff that guys, young guys, saying that they have to subject themselves to on a regular basis in order to continue to live a normal life and, and seek a wife. She don't want to get married. She not interested in you. She probably in her early 20s, living her best life, fucking everybody over and running a check up. And I don't even know how she getting money. Who knows? Who cares? Probably from you. You fooled. You take her out. You think she dope and she going to put you on the fucking gram or she going to put you on TikTok in order to hold you accountable. Listen, Houston is no better than Atlanta. They all pieces of shit. If you are a black person that has any kind of self-respect for yourself, if you have children, if you have a respectable job, if you're actually trying to do the right thing, Run, run from these cities, run from these modern hoes, get the fuck up out of there and go to do, do the thing that's in your be best interest and do not continue to bring the hood with you. And I know a lot of y'all think that y'all better than what y'all are, but y'all probably just fucking like her or you a reformed hoe, you a new hoe, a old hoe that used to be a new hoe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I'm curious, do you run into these type of women on a regular basis? Do you follow them on Instagram? Do you think that they're inspirational? And do you think that Houston is better than Atlanta? Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Teen Hanley, 30% off the first order plus a free gift. I'm out.